This tutorial is going to show you how to import a calendar into Google Docs by first creating a spreadsheet. Sometimes it's a lot easier to just write things out in a spreadsheet and then it could just separate to different dates throughout a calendar. So we're going to start with opening up a spreadsheet through Microsoft Excel. Start with a blank workbook. Now the particular titles that Google will accept are in order subject, start date, start time, end date, end time, whether it's an all-day event, description, location, and whether or not it's private. For my purposes, we're probably not going to need all of these, and we can kind of delete the ones that we don't necessarily need. I know I'm not going to define whether it's private, location, or description, or even if it's an all-day event. So, I can just select all those and delete them. I will leave these main ones that are sitting right here. Before I do anything though, I'm going to format them in a way that Google will better recognize. For the dates, I'm going to click the start date, hold control on the end date. I'm going to right click and I'm, then I'm going to format these cells into a date format that it recognizes. That will be this one right here. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the start time and the end time. Hold down control, right click, format cells. And for the time, I'm going to go with this one right here. Click OK. And that'll just make it easier when I input my information. So let's create a few fake events. Let's say I have Regents Review. And it's going to be sometime, say, in August for some reason during the summer. Let's say August 1st. You see it already formatted for us for this year, August 1st, 2013. The start time, I'm going to say it's at 9 space AM. It's reformatted again. And it's going to end the same date. And it's going to go about 2 hours, 11 AM. OK. Now, the regions themselves are going to be, let's say, about a week later, 8 8. And they are normally at about, I don't know, let's say, Give an example, 10 a.m. And let's say they go for a few days. Go to 8.15. And each of them, uh, we'll give it about three hours or so. Okay, so we have two particular examples right here. Now I have to save this in a particular format that Google will better recognize. I'm going to go to File, Save As, put it in a location I can find. And right here is save as type. I'm going to go CSV for comma separated values. I'm going to do this comma delimited one here. It really doesn't matter which format we use here, as long as it's CSV. Save it. It's going to give me some warnings because it's reformatting. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my calendar. I can go to something like google.com slash calendar. And then I'm just going to log in. Let me log in with an example account. And here we're going to see a calendar layout that we already have. Now, because I created a whole new calendar in the Excel format, I'm going to create a new one here. So right next to my calendars, I'm going to click this little arrow for a drop down box and do create new calendar. I'm going to call this test calendar. And I can also add different details here, like if I'm creating any calendar, including a description and sharing properties. But that's pretty much all I need for now. So I'm going to go and create this calendar. Then I'm going to go down to other calendars. I'm going to click import calendar. And here it'll let me choose the file. I know I want it to be the test calendar I just created. So that's the calendar I'm going to choose. And then I'm going to cl click choose file and navigate to where I just created that Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. I believe I just called it book one. Import. And you can see it processed two events successfully. Close this out. And then let's navigate to the date of those events. I believe there's some time in August. Go to month view go to August. And I can see here that it 
is in green. My new calendar that I just created, the test calendar, is set as the color green. The regions show up here and the regions review do as well. All right, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions and if this isn't working properly for you.